All right, so a quick video here to calculate the present value of a home loan. So the question is really, how much can I borrow? All right, so very real world question here. A person wants to buy a house, but they don't know whether they can afford a mansion or they're just going to have to live in like a tiny, tiny little thing. Uh, now, only two or three variables here, sorry. There's the A value, which is the repayment you can make, the, the ongoing payments you can make, usually monthly payments on a home loan. There's the R here and here. Now, you've met the R before. That's the growth rate. So it's always the interest rate plus one. And the N is the number of periods. So you'll notice a couple of differences here between formulas you've seen in the past. This 1 and R are switched around, and this N becomes a negative N, basically because we're doing the opposite of what we've been doing in the past. Uh, we're not saving money and to, to have it in the future. Instead, we're taking a bunch of money and we're paying it back over time. So let's say I can afford um, to pay... $2,100 a month and the interest rate on this particular home loan is going to be 5%, uh, let's make an easy number, 6% per annum, uh, compounding monthly, always compounding monthly for home loans, gen generally compounding monthly for home loans, and uh, what's the other thing we need to know? Oh, home loans. Home loans generally are about 25 years to 30 years, that's usually how long you have, so Let's say 30 years here. So the question is, I can afford $2,100 a month. The bank's charging 6% per annum compounding monthly, and I've got 30 years to pay it off. How much can I borrow? So the present value of a loan that has those constraints is A, $2,100, that's the payment, times 1 minus R. Let's do a little calculation for R here. R is equal to 1 plus the interest rate, 0 0.06, divided by 12, because this is compounding monthly, uh, 1 minus, so that must be like uh, 1.005, I believe, 1.005, to the power of negative 30 years times 12, 300, negative 360, all over 1 minus R, so R was 1.005, so 1 minus R is 0 0.005. Okay, decide whether you want to do this in small parts or to put it all into your calculator at once, but it should give us an answer, let's hope. All right, so according to this, we can borrow $350,000. $262.39. Now, you normally need a deposit of some sort, so let's say I had a deposit of about $150,000 and I'm borrowing $350,000, I can afford a $500,000 house, borrow this amount. Let's test this out on our calculator, make sure I'm not telling you lies. All right, number of periods, 360. Interest rate, uh, 6%. Present value, that's what we're trying to calculate. Payments, minus 2100. Payments are coming out of my pocket, so that's a negative. Future value, the hope is that in 30 years I will have paid this all off. So the future value of a home loan is zero. Payments, compounding, compounding monthly. Present value, bonus, $350,262.39. Now, there, that's the most basic form of a home loan style question. There are a hundred different, different permutations of these questions that we need to practice. Things like, I wonder how much money I'll have to pay off after 10 years. Or, uh, I want to borrow a $700,000, buy a $700,000 house. How much would my payments be? Uh, maybe even like paying off early, or what would the interest rate be? There's loads and loads and loads of different type style questions in here. Right now, here's our formula. Here's a simple worked example, 
and you've just seen how you can check that on your calculator as well.